The operation of the hydraulic electronic unit injector fuel system is completely different from any other fuel. This fuel system consists of four basic components. CHEUI, CECM, C unit injector hydraulic pump, C fuel transfer pump. The fuel system utilizes a hydraulically actuated electronically controlled unit injector. All fuel systems for diesel engines use a plunger and barrel in order to pump fuel under high pressure into the combustion chamber. The HEUI uses engine oil under high pressure in order to power the plunger. The HEUI uses engine lubrication oil that is pressurized from 6 MPa to 28 MPa in order to pump fuel from the injector. The high pressure oil is called the injection actuation pressure. The HEUI operates in the same way as a hydraulic cylinder in order to multiply the force of the high pressure oil. This multiplication of pressure is achieved by applying the force of the high pressure oil to a piston. The piston is larger than the plunger by approximately six times. The piston that is powered by engine lubrication oil under high pressure pushes on the plunger. The actuation pressure of the oil generates the injection pressure that is delivered by the unit injector. Injection pressure is greater than actuation pressure of the oil by approximately six times. Low actuation pressure of the oil results in low injection pressure of the fuel. High actuation. The ECM is located on the left side of the engine. The ECM is a powerful computer that provides total electronic control of engine performance. The ECM uses data from engine performance that is gathered by several sensors. The ECM uses this data in order to make adjustments to the fuel delivery, injection pressure, and injection timing. The ECM contains programmed performance maps software in order to define horsepower, torque curves and RPM. The ECM logs faults of engine performance. The ECM, the mechanical fuel transfer pump is mounted on the back of the unit injector hydraulic pump. The fuel transfer pump is the only serviceable part of the unit injector hydraulic pump. The fuel transfer pump is used in order to draw fuel from the fuel tank. Also, the fuel transfer pump is used in order to pressurize the fuel to 450 kPa 66 psi. The fuel transfer pump has an internal relief valve in order to protect the system. The pressurized fuel is supplied to the injectors. The low pressure fuel system consists of five basic components. Fuel tank, primary fuel filter, water separator, two micron secondary fuel filter. Fuel transfer pump, fuel pressure regulator. Fuel is drawn from the fuel tank and flows through a 13 micron primary fuel filter water separator. The primary fuel filter water separator removes large debris from the fuel. The primary filter element also separates water from the fuel. The water is collected in the bowl at the bottom of the primary fuel filter water separator. Fuel flows from the primary fuel filter water separator to the inlet side of fuel transfer pump. An inlet check. Valve in the inlet port of the fuel transfer pump opens in order to allow the flow of fuel into the pump. After the fuel flow has stopped, the inlet check valve closes in order to prevent fuel flow out of the inlet port. Fuel flows from the inlet port in the pump to the outlet port. Pressurized fuel flows from the outlet port of the pump. These fuel filters are high efficiency. This filter removes very small abrasive contaminants from the fuel. The primary fuel filter water separator will not trap these small contaminants. Very small abrasive particles in the fuel cause abrasive deterioration of the unit injectors. The secondary fuel filter removes particles in the size of 2 microns in size or particles that are greater than 2 microns in size. The use and regular maintenance of this 2 micron filter will provide a significant improvement in injector life. Fuel flows from the 2 micron secondary filter to the fuel supply passage in the cylinder head. The fuel supply Passage is a drilled hole which begins at the front of the cylinder head. The fuel supply passage extends to the back of the cylinder head. This passage connects with each unit injector bore in order to supply fuel to unit injectors. The excess fuel flows out of the back of the cylinder head. The fuel flows into the fuel pressure regulator. The fuel pressure regulator consists of an orifice and a check valve that is spring-loaded. The orifice is a flow restriction that pressurizes the supply fuel. The check valve that is spring-loaded will open at 35 kPa 5 psi in order to allow the fuel that has flowed through the orifice to return to the fuel tank. When the engine is off, there is no fuel pressure that is acting on the check valve. With no fuel pressure on the check valve, the check valve will close. 
The check valve will close in order to prevent the fuel that is in the cylinder. Oil that is drawn from the sump is pressurized to the lubrication system oil pressure by the engine oil pump. Oil flows from the engine oil pump through the engine oil cooler, through the engine oil filter, and then to the main oil gallery. A separate circuit from the main oil gallery directs a portion of the lubrication oil in order to supply the unit injector hydraulic pump. A steel tube on the left side of the engine connects the main oil gallery with the inlet port of the unit injector hydraulic pump. The connection point is the top port of the manifold on the engine side cover. Oil flows into the inlet port of the unit injector hydraulic pump and the oil fills the pump reservoir. The pump reservoir provides oil to the unit injector hydraulic pump during startup. Also, the pump reservoir provides oil to the unit injector hydraulic pump until the engine oil pump can increase pressure. Oil from the pump reservoir is pressurized in the unit injector hydraulic pump and the oil is pushed out of the outlet port of the pump under high pressure. Oil then flows from the outlet port of the unit injector hydraulic pump to the high pressure oil passage in the cylinder head. Actuation oil that is under high pressure flows from the unit injector hydraulic pump through the cylinder head to all of the injectors. Oil is contained in the high pressure oil passage until the oil is used by the unit injectors. Oil that has been exhausted by the unit injectors is expelled under the valve covers. This oil returns to the crankcase through oil drain holes in the cylinder head. There are two types of actuation pressure. Z desired actuation pressure. Z actual actuation pressure. Desired actuation pressure is the injection actuation pressure that is required by the system for optimum engine performance. The desired actuation pressure is established by the performance maps in the ECM. The ECM selects the desired actuation pressure. The selection is based on the signal inputs from many sensors. The ECM is getting signal inputs from some of the following sensors. Throttle position sensor, boost pressure sensor, speed timing sensors and coolant temperature sensor. The desired actuation pressure is constantly changing. The change is based on various signal inputs. The changing engine speed and engine load also cause the desired actuation pressure to change. The desired